NASA's orbiting spacecraft has discovered evidence of flowing water. It appears to be seasonal, flowing only in the summer. Scientists say this discovery is just the beginning. That we send astrobiologists and planetary scientists to Mars to explore the question of is there current life on Mars? Canadian astronaut Chris Hatfield certainly agrees. That is tantalizingly close to, to uh, the building blocks of life. And uh, anywhere on Earth, there's water and heat. There's life. I mean, look under your sink. <laughs> now, this may look like another picture of Mars, but it isn't. It's the Abacama Desert in Chile. And the National Science Correspondent, Bob McDonald, is here to tell us what that has to do with today's announcement. Bob. Well, Peter, it looks a lot like Mars. It is the driest place on Earth, and it has in its soil the same chemicals that they found on Mars, and there's life that exists in the Atacama. So the idea is that if life can survive in the extreme environment of the Atacama Desert, perhaps it can survive in the extreme environments of Mars. But that does not prove that there's life on Mars yet. We still have some more work to do. Well, why is it such a big deal then? Well, it's such a big deal because, uh, as Chris said, you know, liquid water means life. But what they need to find out on Mars is whether this liquid water is liquid all the time. Where did it come from? Did it come from ice that just melts once in a while? Well, that's not liquid. Is there an aquifer underground that's liquid all the time? Is there an underground stream? Is there a hot spring? They don't know that. But if there is, then they're going to have to find it and then in the future go back with either robots or people and start digging into Mars and try to look for life on the inside because that's probably where it's going to be, not on the outside where we've been looking so far. Well, tell me more about that. How do we look for life on Mars? It's really difficult because all the robots we've been sending so far have been geologists and chemists, so they can tell us what the rocks are made of and what the atmosphere is made of. It's a little harder to find life. You either have to find actual microbes in the water, so you got to go there with a microscope, or uh, you got to try to find signs of fossils or metabolic activity. So it's a little trickier, but not impossible. And there are missions in the future that are going to start to do that.